Alright, hi. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch um, firmware version 1.1.4 or below. Um, so, so you can install like third-party applications and stuff. So, uh, here we go. First, obviously, you're going to have to have installed iTunes. I already have it, so I'm starting it up right now. Alright, so, then the first thing you're going to want to do is restore your iPod, so I'm going to hit that right now, restore, then it's going to give you a screen that asks you if you want to back it up, uh, well I already did that part, so um, I backed it up just in case, but you don't have to, it's your choice. Then, it, depending on whether whether your iPod's version 1.1.4, um, you're going to either click Restore or Restore and Update. They both pretty much do the same thing, except if you accept the Restore and Update button gives you, um, it, um, it updates it to 1.1.4 also. And I don't think you can do it any other way if you're not on 1.1.4. So I'm going to hit restore and update because I don't have 1.1.4 yet. And then I don't really think you guys want to watch me uh, restore my iPod. So I'm going to turn the camera off for a while and I'll turn it back on when it's done. Alright, hey, I'm back. Um, here's my iPod. I restored it. As you can see, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't have any music or videos on it yet um, because it takes them all off when you restore it. You can either choose to resync your iPod now or after we're finished jailbreaking it. Um, I'm going to do it later just so I can show you guys um, how to jailbreak it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the internet, go to www.ziphone.org. Um, I'm going to also have the link to it in the page, descri I mean, the video description, so, yeah, you just do it from there, also. I already have it open, um, alright, you're going to scroll down until you see, click here to download the iPhone, <coughs> click it, and then it's going to bring you to this page, if, depending on whether you have Windows or Mac, if you have Windows, you're going to click this, and if you have Mac, you're going to click this. Um, so, um, you're going to download it and then unzip it and stuff. Um, and I already um, downloaded it and stuff because I didn't want to turn the camera off again because I'm lazy. So, um, here it is. Here's the unzipped folder. When you're in the unzipped folder, you're going to open the Z iPhone GUI. It's the icon for it's going to be a lock. Double click it. And. Here we go. Um, then this is going to open up. So. Then. Click jailbreak. Click it. And then it's going to search for your iPod. You don't even have to do anything. You don't have to, like, locate your iPod or anything. It's going to find your iPod by itself. Then your iPod is going to act like it's getting restored, but it's really, it's getting jailbroken. So, um, just sit back and relax and watch it get jailbroken. Um, yeah, it'll say... Alright. It's normal for the white text to scroll down your screen. Do not panic. It's, like, not, like, bad or anything. Uh, so, white text is gonna keep scrolling down your screen. So, there's nothing wrong with that. It's gonna keep on doing that. 
and I'll turn it off and I'll turn the camera back on once it's done. Okay, so it finished jailbreaking my iPod. Now, um, you're done. Then you can, uh, resync it and stuff. Alright, now you're gonna have a new, uh, a new, uh, application on the main menu called Installer. Click it. And from Installer, that is where you're gonna be able to install all of your, um, third party applications from. So, there you go. There you have it. You just jailbroke your iPod. Good job. And another really cool thing you can do is with your um, jailbroken iPod, you can get uh, that um, application pack that came out um, where it gives you like mail and stuff. You can get that all free. Um, just go to Sources under your installer, click Edit, and then click Add. And then um, I have the um, what you have to type in there in the um, video description, so type that in, then hit OK, and it will refresh your sources. It's uh, refreshing my sources right now. Alright, here we go. It's done. I think. Alright. Oh, yeah, now it's telling me that I can update my installer. So, yeah, you want to update it just because you get more stuff if you update it. So, yeah. So, I just updated my installer. Alright, now when you go back to install, uh, I have no idea why that happened. Alright, now when you go back to install, um, when when you go to all packages there's going to be a new search feature well if it was already updated for you then it's not new but in the search type just type in ipod in the search ipod and then it's going to be called ipod 1.1.4 full features then install it install then it's going to install it, and later I'll, after this I'll turn the camera back on and show you what it does. Alright, I installed it, so then here we go. On the main menu, now, uh, it's going to give you a little notice after you installed it. Oh, um, here we go. Now, you're going to have all those cool applications, like mail, um, all that new stuff. <clears throat> and then you're gonna also you you got this little advertisement on your home screen which is really annoying. Um uh for that thing you used to jailbreak it. If you just hold down on it after you've downloaded the full features, if you just ho hold down on it until everything starts to shake, then a little X will pop up next to it and you can just hit the X and then hit delete and it's gone and now you have all the full features of the iPod and then just install whatever you want with installer and then resync it if you haven't done it already and thanks for watching um... and yeah alright bye this computer generated voice is here because i was too lazy to download a song to play while the credits were rolling but too nice to not give you any sound whatsoever ha 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 ha